How's it going, ladies and Bruce? It's up, over six killer. Welcome back to the good life. As you can see on the map here, I've got the main mission equipped right now. That kid is in town. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta haul ass and find this kid before they disappear and we can't get them again. Sounds kind of creepy, but, uh, you know, they, the last kid said we were creepy, so whatever. Get out of my way. Yeah, baby. We need to get this done so that we can go back to stealing everybody's garden knickknacks. All right, that's important. <laughs> I got you, kid. Hey. Yo, uh, who are you again? Good day. Charlotte. I heard about you from Emma. Well, isn't that just swell? Here you are. Huh? Wait, this is not Google Maps. It's not even a printout from some other map site. That's a photograph. They can actually do aerial photography out here in the middle of nowhere? I got it from a person in the UFO. Wait, what the hell? Why do I feel like I'm starting to believe what this brat's saying? <laughs> Thanks, Bunny. Huh? Bunny? Sorry, want me to think of a different name? <laughs> no, no one's ever given Charlotte a Nick Charlie a nickname before. Makes me happy. <laughs> oh, well, good. Goodbye. I hope you'll come back and play with me again. Bye-bye. Wait, but you said you just called yourself Charlie. Yeah! That's a nickname. Alright, I think I got all the hints. A photograph from the scenery and a photograph from the sky. I should be able to figure out this general area with these. I don't really know until I go there though. Until I go there and find the uh, <coughs> high tech thingy. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell I'm going to find, but I'm getting kind of excited for some weird reason. I've been there. I've went there. You know I did. Wait, kid. Photo. Alright, let's go, Tyler. Yeah, baby. Wait, you. You're a townsperson. A really irritating townsperson, but a townsperson nonetheless. Alright, now it's on the map. Yeah, baby. I found it without the help of the map, so... You know. <laughs> Ain't no big thing. Anyway. <laughs> By accident, mostly, but... Yeah, baby! <laughs> Is it this? Is it the scarecrow in the middle of the water? Is that the problem? Is that How are you? Miss Haywood? Well, you scared me. Why do people in this town always come up out of nowhere and start talking to me like it's no big deal? <laughs> I can't believe you actually made it here. We did it! You really found the spot using nothing but the photos as hints. That's super awesome. <laughs> well, if you say so. But now what should I do? <laughs> oh, here, just take this. Ta-da! An old label that was attached to the thingy. It apparently still- oh, okay, dog mode. Here's your last hint. It's the label that was on the high-tech thingy. I'm sure it's got the scent of the high-tech thingy all over it. You'll be able to find where it's hidden as long as you have the scent, right? I know you can do it. Please, Miss Hayward, find the high-tech thingy. Stop saying thingy, because it's oh, a euphemism geez. for penis. What the hell? Now even the brat knows I can transform a track smells? Yeah. Whatever. There's only one thing to do now. That kid can do it. Yeah, I knew that already. Digging, yeah, I saw that too. Digging points, yeah. Come across those as well. Uh, where are we? Oh, here. Smell that shit. Hmm, I smell high-tech thingy. Whatever the crap that means. Except I don't. I don't smell high-tech thingy at all. Where is you, high-tech thingy? Yeah. Not duck. Stupid duck. God damn it. God damn it. Stop smelling the animals. <laughs> Gotta stop smelling all the animals all the time. They're gonna think I'm a weirdo. I mean, maybe I am a weirdo. <laughs> but still, I don't want them to know. <laughs> don't want them to know I'm a freaky weirdo that smells them all the time. Where are we going? Up here. Alright, here we go. Looking good. Looking tasty. Didn't mean to take a smell of that rabbit. Oh, there's somewhere to urinate. We should probably just make the most of that while we're here. Uh, 
Um, I forgot how to piss. Can I not? Because I'm doing a mission or something? I've forgotten the button. What's the piss button? How do I activate urine? <laughs> activate urine. There it is. Bam. Damn, that's wholesome. Alright, where are we going next? Huh. Oh, maybe down here? No. Oh, I see. That's some wholesome urination right there. Fun for the whole family. Old Thermos. And I'll beat up Thermos, at least. That's what it looks like. Couldn't Emma, it's a special thing that never gets cut. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, baby! Sure I said that, like, three episodes ago. This has got to be it. I found the high-tech thingy. Wait a minute, this looks like a thermos. It's just a thermos. Well, it does keep drinks cold and or hot or whatever. And one that would look right at home in an elementary school kid's lunchbox. I should have known she was making up that UFO crap. There's no way such a profitable scoop would fall right into my lap like that. This world doesn't work this way. Oh, oh well. Not like I really ever believed her in the first place. At least I found a way to keep my Irish coffee warm while I'm climbing the mountain. Time to head back to David and break into that mine once and for all. Mm. I don't know, I wonder how long that thing's been hidden here. Seriously? It's really gross. I'll have to make sure it gets properly sanitized before anything goes in it. How do you suggest we do that? We could piss in it. Nope. Put hot coffee in the thermos. Okay. Tyler! <laughs> Wait. Wait, there's a... Oh, I... I'll take a photo of that squirrel. I know I need to kill five, but it doesn't seem to count ah, unless I'm doing the mission. So maybe I have to kill five in a row without any breaks. I just have to go on a full murder rampage. So we'll come back to that later. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a new Irish coffee because the last one went cold like four days ago. <laughs> Speaking of which, we need another beer of the day. If I'm ever gonna get that mission done. That mission is pants. It's absolutely pants. It's my least favorite one so far. <laughs> Let's stop at the ATM and grab some cash out. Withdraw everything, please. That's not very much, but you know, we gotta save up for some really nice, uh... Save up for some really nice... Camera lenses or whatever. Aha! How's it going, boy? Miss Hayward, up for a duel? Yeah. Betty, mind if we make it interesting again, Vicar? Of course not. Let me know once you're ready. Oh my god, alright. Guess I should do it now. Ready to have ourselves a duel? Bring it on. This is a mission I can do without leaving the fucking room. 30. I see you're out to strike it rich today. In that case, I won't hold back, little lamb. You've never even got close to beating me. A toast to God's divine providence. Cheers. Indeed. I have to be quiet while I do it though, which is unfortunate. Man, it goes for ages this time. I guess it's because I'm betting 30. Cheers. Which is quite a lot. Quite a lot of money. quite slippery now, isn't it? Like, it's really slip sliding around. But that's still not that hard. As long as you, like, focus really, really hard on it. Cheers. Nah, shut up, dude. I don't care what you're saying. I'm too drunk to give a shit now. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass, Baldy. Damn, you're gonna pay me 30 pounds. And then I'm gonna use that to buy an Irish coffee. And a daily beer thing. Holy crap, it is going nuts though. <laughs> Say goodnight, Baldy. <laughs> I won again. Take that, Baldy McDrunk face. Yeah, yeah sign you, I saw, but yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, baby. It's the same thing you said last time. <laughs> yeah. Just pay me. Pay me and get out of my face. up. What's the crack? Brought a feckin' thermos with you now, did you? 
get more of a boost than I gave you credit for. How else do you think I incurred this, all this debt? Anyway, make sure you watch it. You've got 30 million pounds of debt from drinking. Damn, you quite are dedicated. How are you still standing? You should be in for your fucking, uh, what do you call it? The, the kidney treatments or whatever. Might as well scrub it down with alcohol while you're at it. Now you're sucking diesel. I have this back to you right away. Man, this lady is so Irish right now. This is a right hefty thermos like. It'll probably stay warm even when you're right in the thick of all that snow. <laughs> even David should be satisfied with this one. Huh? Hey wait, are you sure you washed it? Here you are, already. Seriously? Already my ass. Are you sure you really washed it like I told you to? Sure, sure, it's all clean and shiny like. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> I need my daily drink as well. Why is it so hard to get one measly cup of coffee or any? New York practically has a coffee shop on every corner now. If you want a thermos, you just need to order one on your phone and it'll come in the mail next day. And we have to dig one up in the middle of a fucking... In the middle of a field <laughs> next to a lake with a scary scarecrow in the middle of it. From a UFO. Hey. Or something. Uh... Fear of the day, please. Alright, I'm out of here. You feel a buzz coming on. Yeah, you, you're not a, you're not, you're not wrong. Alright, let's go. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Wait. I need to talk to this man about a uh, stripey something in a... He's not even there. Bastard. Stripey deck chair and a beach ball or something. I'm sure he can make them. Yeah, baby! He can make anything. He's a genius. This is gonna be a uh, an eventful day, I think. We're gonna get a lot. Uh, yeah, baby. We're gonna get a lot done today. Uh, yeah, baby. How many cat and dog shrines are left? We must have just about done all of them, right? Must be flies. Have you been to that stone out there with that mural? I think we should take a shortcut up there. Uh, yeah, baby. That's not a mural. It's a big ass rock. What the hell? Hello, big ass rock. Can I help you? Hmm. Yeah, baby. Can I take a shortcut then? I'm not sure this is a shortcut. I think this is the normal way. I need to break some boxes too. I got to break a hundred boxes for that lady. Yeah, baby. Nice. I got Mortmite. I love Mortmite. It's my favorite. <laughs> Oh, I'm completely sober now. What a buzzkill. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's a truck, but it's red. Blame. I know where the green truck is. It's over by his house, isn't it? God damn it. Yeah, baby. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, baby. It's obviously where it is. Oh well. We'll do that when we get back. Slow down. Slow down there. We got this, Tyler. Yeah, baby. Let's take that bit nice and slow. Squirrel. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We must be getting close to 100 yards by now, too, right? We've covered a lot of ground. Yeah, baby. Like a lot of ground. Yeah, baby. Hey, David, I'm here. Irish coffee, and it's as hot as it comes. Now we can finally head into the snow. Go on, take a swig. <laughs> sure feels great to be encouraged to drink as much as I can. How do we become such a booze hound? What the hell? <laughs> Woo! Watch out, Snow! I'm the drink queen! And you really dress the part. Why'd you nick it in one go? <laughs> I feel like I could run up the side of a K2 now. Which way do I go? Oi! Wait, you need to activate the power of the rainy woods before you start to climb. You can turn it to something that's more resistant to cold, right? Something with a good layer of fuzz. Oh yeah, but everybody knows that you can transform it whenever you want. News travels fast in town as much as ours. Yeah. Of course, if it's shyness that's stopping you, then I, I can turn around. I never thought about transforming like that before. <laughs> oh, and there's a shrine over there, so it might do you some good to give it a visit before you get going. I'll turn around for you now, so give us a shout when you're ready. 
he knows and he's just he's just confronting me on the fact that he knows and he's not turning around he just said you were going to turn around how dare you okay thank you dog time ruff 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 sound now stay close to me so you don't get lost Wandering through the blizzards on these snowy mountains without a compass is nothing short of suicide. And if you don't stay close to David, you'll get lost. And that means death up here. Be like David's shadow. Or else. Alright. Can we go any faster? What the hell is this? Yeah. That's a cave paint in the loo. A deity of light that appears in old Celtic mythology. They call him the law of the long arm. And he masters all sorts of different weapons like. And if that wasn't all, he is skilled in many different arts and techniques. He is truly an all powerful god. This seems dangerous. We're going for a cave though, so that'd be nice. Once we get inside the cave, we won't have to get snowed on all the time. I'm looking forward to that. No, oh, another one. The hell is this? Yeah. That's the Battle of King Arthur and Cath Palug. Cath Palug punished the arrogant and killed all those who attempted to deceive God. In the end, King Arthur used Excalibur to grant eternal rest. What's up there? Look at that thing. Somebody frozen on a block of ice? What the hell? Hmm? Oh my god, it's Lobster Man. Who the hell is that guy? I warned him. I forgot about him going up here. Oh, I'll leave you behind. He did, son. At least I don't have to compete with him anymore. I think I'm supposed to smell this guy out, but uh, there's no need because I can see his little smell thing, smell trail moving. What the hell is this? Yeah. That's. Moddy do a giant dog monster supposedly haunted the guarded chamber of Peel Castle and killed about killed the guards who were dossing about Some even say he was able to transform into a human, but it sounds a bit far-fetched to me. Does it? He's talking to a dog right now <laughs> Are you sure it sounds a bit far-fetched to you? You're literally talking to a dog with sunglasses who just turned from a human into a dog with sunglasses while you had your back turned Doesn't get much more far-fetched. Except the Pokemon. Oh, I lost you. I lost you so bad. Where the hell is he? Oh, I'm gonna die. Dude, we so dead. There he is. Dude, he didn't have to run off like that. Yeah. But there's a cave painting showing the power of Lou's mighty spears, the dreadful Aredbeer. Aredbeer. That name means slaughter. It be constantly submerged in cold, had to be constantly submerged in cold water. In order to keep its red hot point from busting out enough fire to melt a whole village. Sounds inconvenient. <laughs> Sounds extremely inconvenient. Wait. Be quiet. Stay calm. Bring it on. Usually bears are more surprised to see us than we are them. I don't know, man. What I mean is, she's just as scared as us. She? Isn't it obvious? That's a female. Yeah, man. I need to turn around so I can see. She doesn't look the least bit scared. Well, there are exceptions. Sometimes bears can see dogs as a bit of a snack. <laughs> He runs, she runs funny. Jesus. Whoa, you really redeemed yourself, Boy Scout. That was fucking intense. 90% of that was just me chancing it. I thought I was gone or two. Seriously? Out here in the wilderness, whether you live or you die, often comes down a chance. So let's press on while looks on our side, eh? Just don't run off, eh? 
Ah, oh, you prick, I knew you were going to. He's <laughs> like, and I'm out of here. Is there a stone just up here? So, I don't know where we're going. Actually, can we look at. Oh no, we can't look at. We can take a photo of one of these for that last photograph for that tourist guy. This is Jack and the Beanstalk, right? Yeah. It certainly seems that way. And over here is old Alfred the Great. Apparently, Jack and the Beanstalk was set during his time. And while the Vikings are making a holy show of it, Jack was busy climbing his magical beanstalk. Here we go. We must be close, right? We've been out in the snow for ages. I would not handle this in real life. I'd have hypothermia by now. <laughs> Fucking hate the cold. I hate snow. And I've only seen it like twice. <laughs> and that was enough for me to hate it. All right, we're going the right way. Oi! Yeah, I'm trying. Alright, attempt 57, because he keeps buggering off, and I can't, I'm not patient enough to sit there and just smell the ground to keep up with him. To be frank, I'd rather just, uh, chance it, frankly. Even though I may die of hypothermia, I'd rather chance it. This is going to be a slow one, man. Follow the trail. Follow the trail. Very precisely and slowly and... Then we won't have to worry about bullshittery. But I want a Wii over there. I need a Wii over there. I have missions to piss everywhere. Come on. Not even gonna let me get my mission done? Kinda rude. What if a guy's got a piss? A girl, whatever. What if I got a piss? <laughs> Alright. Making progress now. We're in new new turf. I swear we're just going around in circles, right? Because he's taking the least convenient path to get wherever he's going. There he is. Thanks for running off and leave me like that, asshole. Does, doesn't it ever stop snowing up here? It shouldn't be much longer now. It looks like I must have dropped my bag back when I was brawling with that bear. You mean, I've lost my compass on my map. Seriously? You, what? Now what are we gonna do? Yeah. Pray. Seriously? Yeah. Here, like this. Oh my god, we're actually gonna Follow pray? Follow my lead, okay? Okay. You really think you can stop a snowstorm by praying? Just shut up and pray. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Uh. Huh? It actually stopped? <sighs> Look, there's the mine. Our prayers must have reached the mothership. Uh, I mean, heaven. The mothership? Quickly now. What is going on in this town? Are you guys all aliens? <laughs> What the crap? <laughs> Alright, we made it to the mine. Let's get in there. And we got a nice place to, to chill out and rest. That's nice. And a, a cat shrine to activate. Yeah, there must be some I haven't activated. This tunnel's dark as hell. Yeah, I reckon it'll be hard to document any photo evidence in this condition. I thought you were a pro survivalist. Don't you have a flashlight or something? It's lying at the bottom of that ravine right now, along with my compass. Oh, jeez. Seriously, I said your luck, the luck was on your side. You may be able to find a generator or two. 
they've left behind deep inside the mine. Mm. Now, if we just had a way to actually get there. <sighs> Sounds like it's time for plan B. Mm? Plan B. The vet said he marked the correct route back when he first escaped from the mine. And here's a bandana that's drenched in his... Oh, yay. Piss smell. <laughs> uh, you can use his scent to follow his, the correct path. That is that is sound. We can use his, his leavens to smash our way through this pitch black labyrinth. I'll hang about here and wait for you to turn the lights on. It's all about survival. Don't lose hope. That's the most important part of being a true survivalist. Like, I hope I can survive an entire cavern's worth of ancient piss fumes. <laughs> yes, you don't have to tell me every time how to memorize a scent. It's not that hard. I can figure it out. It's fine. I know I'm not the smartest, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's activate this. Yes. How many more are there? Do we have any oracle spots? Yes, we do. Professional eater. Complete. <laughs> Thanks, as always. Well, that was easy. Anyway. Dog time. It's time to get our dungeon on. When ca in cattle dog form, you can press LT to activate animal vision. Yes, I know. It's fine. We shall be fine. Alright, which one's the piss one? This one. <coughs> Yummy. Yummy! <coughs> Surely just the fumes alone. Like, what other fumes would there be in here? <coughs> Aside from his piss everywhere. Not that way. Oh no. I don't like that at all. Okay. So you can actually see pretty good like this, but as soon as you get out of this mode, you can't see shit. It's dark as fuck. I think I'm stuck. Yikes. So as long as I stay in this mode, I can see perfectly. No problem. Damn. This mine is hella big. It's a mine. Hello? Is, is anyone there? Honey, you're a good, good, good ghost. You, you, you tell me if this was a prank, right? Yeah, it's just a prank, bro. I, oh, I'm sick wandering around this stupid haunted mine. Oh, we just got it. Oh, I need to hurry up and finish this investigation so I can finally get out of here. I like how the text is like quivering. Using the Undertale uh, style of of giving the text personality, you know. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna bite you, asshole. What's down here? Nothing. All right. Just to throw us off, I guess. We we'll just keep moving. As we know, as long as we stay in first person mode, we uh, really can't get lost. It's not really possible. Not that way. And I'm not going to walk into those electric death traps. How stupid would I have to be? Oh, I'm going to have to jump it? Oh, dicks. Really? Come on. I won't be able to see. I don't like that. That one I can jump, there's a box there. Huh. What do we got here? Is this the generator? It looks like a generator room. This must be the generator. But how do I turn it on? Mm. Mm. Okay, perfect. Now all the lights should be on. Does that mean David's gonna come in and help us out? Old man Stringer's scent ends here. 
Wait, is this it? A boring empty room? Got a generator. God damn it! <gasps> Careful, that's dynamite! Shit, that was a close one. <laughs> I almost blew myself to smithereens. <laughs> that can't be it, right? All that effort for a crummy box of dynamite? I love all the, the very, very rare swear words. Moss yet. It's fantastic. I must have missed something. <laughs> what? what was that noise? Maybe there's something up ahead? The fact that the swear words are so rare makes them even funnier when they actually come out. The world's oldest computer. <laughs> Alright. Sure, I guess. Oh no, we're gonna get lost. Should I be in dog form? Get out of my way. I'll go Metal Gear on this and I'll hide in the box. Damn it, it won't budge. After all the crap I've been through, I'm not giving up here, no way! I know. I could use that dynamite to blow this door to- holy crap. Wait, is it safe to blow something up in a place like this? Definitely not. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. This is an army stronghold after all. I'm sure they built it so I could withstand a bomb or two, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Damn, I'm smart. <laughs> Time to get busy. Naomi, why are you so desperate to blow something up? <laughs> well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. Might as well give it a go. Alright, here goes. I just need to bring some dynamite over here. Yeah, well, we might, uh, you know, kill ourselves and shit, but whatever. Don't bump into anything. Okay. Got it. Guess I need to get rid of this box and... It's definitely in the way. That's why there's boxes everywhere. To be in our way. Oh man, there's dynamite everywhere. Alright. Let's do this. Don't bump at anything, you say. Easy enough. How many do I need? So damn heavy. I need two more. Stop wasting time. Alright, every time I make my way back, I'll just take one of these boxes and get it out of the way. That'll just make things easier. There's less things in the way now. And also, it's not really that hard anyway. I need one more. As long as my arms don't fall off. Or get blown off. Or fall off and then they blow up. From when the dynamite hits the ground after your arms fall off. That's the real danger, really. This is the creepy ass music. This place isn't that creepy. And done. That makes three. This has got to be enough. Uh, I'd say it's too much. <laughs> Surely one would be enough to blow up a door. Fire in the hole! Yeah, baby! Come on, you can do it. The whole mountain blows up. Causes a massive avalanche that destroys the town. All the moisture in here must have gotten to them. I was looking forward to some fireworks too. Plus, I still managed to open the door, so I guess I shouldn't complain. <laughs> My genius plan worked. I don't know what to say anymore. At least you're not hurt, I guess. If they weren't wet, we'd all be dead. You can smash the door straight off and into the wall. Blew it to pieces. Looks like a switchboard. Authenticating user. Please insert activator. Seriously? Activator, but I don't have one. Wait, maybe that's what the old vet gave me. The USB stick? It's worth a try. Well, duh. What else would it be? Activator <laughs> detected. Now activating. Okay. Now uh, do my tax on tax return on it. Initializing security. Check protocol. Preparing trivia. Who ruled in the age of Jack and the Beanstalk? Ah oh, crap. 
Uh, Alfred. We heard this on the way up. Bingo, you're correct. Authorization has been authenticated. Jeez. Oh, you use this trivia as a security measure. Authorized user may access Jack and Go 891. Weird seed. Jack and G0891, like Jack and Jill? A seed unlike any I've seen before. I'm at a loss here. Maybe I should just ask someone if they know what to do with it. Please plant it in the center of Stonehenge. Stonehenge? Well, I haven't seen anything like that around here. What the hell is with this place? Every time I find something, it only creates more questions. You're not wrong. This place is fucking nuts. <laughs> you just now don't even act like there's no one here you didn't see him yeah. damn it stop hiding and show yourself coward oh it's an alien footprints no time to think i need to chase that jerk down even if it takes me to hell and back you said right there is Wait aliens. Up, asshole <laughs> yay swear words i love it oh he's heading back out i guess through the dynamite, we should blow it up. Should I take a dynamite with us? You never know if that might come in handy. There's mining down there. I kind of want to know what's uh, what's happening with the mining. Is this going to take me into the center of the of the doom land? Um, stuck. Dog mode it is. The door's open now. Footprints and they're glowing. There's no mistake in it. The footprints are the same ones I saw by the river where Elizabeth was murdered. I don't care if you're with the army or some ancient god, or whether you're some random freak. You'll never outrun Naomi Hayward. Well, I mean, they probably will. David could outrun us very quickly, remember? But, uh, we're very determined. We'll catch up eventually. Because we just won't stop. Seriously? What the hell? Holy crap. Where am I? Whoa. Was it snowing before? Wow, cherry blossoms, as far as the eye can see. Wait, wait. Now's not the time for that. I'm gonna need to keep running. I need my sheep. Out of place artifact. I know we need to wrap this episode up, but uh and we're very close to some kind of revelation. I need I need to know. I need to know what it is. We've been we've been working towards this mission for quite some time. I need some fucking conclusions. Oh my god, it's Stonehenge. RAF Stonehenge. Are you serious? Oh, there's a cat thing there. There's the UFO. What in the hell? Am I dreaming? <laughs> RAF Stonehenge. <laughs> if I'm asleep right now, this is one hell of a loopy nightmare. <laughs> loopy it is. Hey, kid! How the hell did the kid get here? Are you Specs? Or bunny! All of the above. Huh? Hey! Wait up, kid! Crap! I can't let this scoop get away. <laughs> hmm, pretty sure I saw her raise the bunny up here. I don't have a friggin' bunny. Whatever. I'm trying it. Weight limit exceeded. Weight limit exceeded. Right. Oh! What the hell did you just say? If I got any slimmer, I'd float away on the breeze. I know, man. That ass and that dress. Naomi, <laughs> that's only because your debt-related stress has done a number on your appetite. Keep using junk food to relieve that stress, though, and, well, I'll say no more. What I mean is... 
This problem isn't going to be solved by taking off your shoes, you get me? Get that thinking cap on. Alright, well we need to wrap this one up here. We'll, we'll save here at this daily and then we'll wrap this one up. And the next one, we'll figure out a way to get into the ship thing. Okay. Because we're well out of time anyway. Another mission done. <laughs> Thanks, as always. Another 80 pounds. Hell yeah. Alright, well, aliens. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.